Uh, the first athlete that we're going to introduce into the uh, 260 Hall of Fame is Anne Lee. Um, we have Gene Poole. If Jean Poole had anything to do with her destiny in the sport of gymnastics, I guess she could not have come any better equipped. Mom was a five-time Chinese national champion and an 84 Olympian. Dad is and was an icon in Chinese gymnastics. We did a trip there in 2005. He had people kissing his rings in the malls. <laughs> and, you know, they didn't even have to get, they didn't even, I mean, you know, never mind. <laughs> He was a former uh, world champion in 81 and Olympic medalist himself in 84. Those genes have served Anna very well. Her jail career established a resume that very few people could ever even begin to match. She qualified to six JO national championships. She qualified to five Region 5 All-Star teams. Okay, And that paved the way to a full-ride scholarship to the UCLA. Um, during her college career, her career hit another gear. And when most people are trying to wind down in college, okay, I'm starting to retire, I'm starting to maybe be back off a little bit, she was trying to ramp it up a little bit. Um, at UCLA, she was an eight-time All-American, four-time regional bar champion, two-time Pac-10 bar champion, while establishing the reputation of being that person you could count on in competition. In fact, she hit, in her college career, this is a staggering statistic. 112 routines out of 120 in her four years of competing. 112 routines out of 120. Uh, now I know why Miss Bell really, uh, really liked her a lot. Um, that's a percentage of 93% hit ratio. That's, that's staggering. Um, and if she didn't have a nickname, I don't know if you had one, but it should be maybe money. It's not money. Um, although her college career ended, she still had a thirst for more gymnastics. And very few in gymnastics history have ever elevated their gymnastics. Very few. Only well, we did a little bit. Can't name too many more that after college they actually upped their game, which is just so incredible. After graduation in 2010, she qualified to two straight USA national teams in 2011 and 2012. 2011, she was the alternate to the world championship team, gold medal team in, in uh, Tokyo. In 2012, she served as the alternate to the gold medal win, winning team in London. Um, and it was her impact and her leadership was felt on those teams, okay? The alternate serves, serves a very important role, especially when they have that kind of experience that Anna had, what she could bring to the table. And being a coach on both of those teams, we could really appreciate what she brought into the equation. Um, after retirement, she continues to give back to the sport. Um, she's now part of a coaching staff that is probably easily considered one of the top gymnastics programs in the entire country, Legacy Elite in the Chicago area. Continues to be some top level athletes. She's a motivational speaker and a brevet judge. You often see her on the floor at championships or classics. So she's giving back to the sport in the area of judging, um, which is great to have that kind of eye and that kind of detail, um, being able to sit there and evaluate our up and coming athletes. Giving is a part of her being as a club athlete, as a college athlete, as a national team member, and now as a coach, a judge, as a role model. She needs to work on her dad's English a little bit more. <laughs> it's her only flaw. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome 2016 Hall of Fame member, Annalie.